Hey guys, good morning, good morning, guys, collective. I'm coming on to do a video before we get started, guys. Let's give thanks to Most High. Most High, I give you thanks. Mwah. All right. Before we get started, guys, let's jump right into this prayer. Lord, I thank you for all you do and support and protect in my life. I'm so grateful and blessed. Keep me humble and bless all my family and all my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I have an angel number for you guys. It is 3635, and it talks about God has bestowed upon you the power of gifted hands. Okay? I have a quote. Don't give people what they want. Give them what they need. All right. I have a scripture. John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. All right. I have an affirmation. I'm worthy enough to follow my dreams and manifest my desires. All right. And so in our read today, we're going to talk about the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups talks about happiness and joy in a relationship, a marriage, like a long-term relationship, things like that. So, the Ten of Cups talks about happiness, joy, contentment, and emotional satisfaction. And it talks about it in your family your relationships, or your companion. It represents a state of comfort, harmony, peace, and love, which makes you feel like you're in paradise. All right? So, with that being said, my brothers and sisters, let's jump right into this read. We're going to use the tarot cards first. It's already shaped, shuffled, let's roll. Spirit, give me some energy on this Ten of Cups. What is going on in the collective? In their family life with the happiness and joy. First card out is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about your ships, your abundance, your harvest. Has come in collective. The bottom of the deck. We have Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles talks about your new beginning. And at the bottom of the other side, it's the Sun card. The Sun card talks about fortune and healing. Spirit clarified the Two of Wands. Thank you. With the Two of Swords, it talks about it's time to make decisions. And choices collective. Spirit clarify the two of swords. Thank you. The seven of wands talks about competition. There's haters on the horizon in your energy at this time, collective. Somebody is competing against you. Spirit clarify the seven of wands. Spirit said that is the truth with the Ace of Swords, the Hand of Spirit. Spirit clarify the Ace of Swords. The Fortune just came on out as confirmation. Spirit clarify the Sun card. Thank you. You have a Queen of Swords at this time. Queen of Swords talks about your wisdom. You acquiring wisdom at this time, collective. From Rai, which is the sun. If you go out into um, nature, you you understand you you'll start picking up wisdom if you if you out there in nature. So the sun card can represent that as well. Spirit, clarify the Queen of Swords. And also, I'm picking up that this Queen of Swords 
and your energy as a competition too because the three of cups come on out and this talks about third party interference and it also talks about celebration but we're going to use it on both both ways third party as the queen of swords and celebration as the um ten of cups as wish fulfillment so clarify the three of cups here one on the floor and it talks about the nine of cups nine of cups talks about your stability in your finances you stable spirit clarify the nine of pentacles judgment is here so it talks judgment talks about karma it could be good karma bad karma at this time when i'm looking at doing this part because it's on the same line so it's talking about um this queen of swords third party interference in your um stability i guess trying to do something with your finances i'm picking up because that person is getting karma so let's see let's keep going spirit clarify the judgment Like I said, confirmation, I just said, three of cups interfering. Once again, confirmation, three of pentacles come out. And this talks about somebody spying and watching. Spirit clarify the three of pentacles. Thank you. Whoever this person that's watching you in the three of pentacles is someone collective that you walked away from with the eight of cups. Spirit clarify the Eight of Cups. You walked away. When I'm picking up with the Queen of Pentacles, it's because of your material wealth. They was doing something behind your back. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Spirit. Yes. Confirmation with the Six of Pentacles. They was taken from you collective they was taking your money spirit clarify the six of pentacles the chariot the chariot came on out they didn't want you to move forward clarify the chariot that's cancer energy i'm picking up it can be a cancer scorpio pisces but i'm picking heavy up on a cancer at this time spirit clarify the chariot Thank you. For the Queen of Wands. Wow. Taken from the Queen of Wands. Spirit, with the Queen of Wands, give me more information. What is they taking from the Queen of Wands at this time? Clarify the Queen of Wands. Thank you. With the Ace of Wands, they're trying to take her success. They trying to block her. Because with the um, Queen of Wands, it talks about um, intuition. It talks about like psych, mediums, basic instincts, things like that. So, with that being said, let's keep going. Clarify the Ace of Wands spirit. Success with the King, of, with the Emperor. See, they didn't want you to go towards that. I'm picking up. Picking up like a twin flame connection here at this time. Because it's going towards the new beginning. Which is the new beginning. When you with a twin flame connection, you get abundance follows. So, Sphere, clarify the emperor at this time. The fool card. The fool card talks about taking a leap of faith and taking risks. Two of wands, two of swords across the board. Two two. Now I understand why because you made the choice to take a risk with the emperor at this time. Spirit, clarify 
the food court. Thank you. When you took that risk, somebody is is um dissatisfied because you put them out in the cold with the four cups. Spirit clarify the four cups. And now they telling lies with the moon card. Spirit clarify the moon card at this time. Telling lies. With the high priestess. The high priestess knew this. Because the high priestess is all knowing. And with the five of pentacles in reverse. They try to keep you in. Um, low vibration situations. And. You know like. Um, poverty taking loss. Hits on your finances. And they try to end something with the four swords. Most likely the new beginning because it's on the other side. I'm split of the deck, so let's keep going. Clarify the five of pinnacle spirit at this time. Thank you. With the three of swords, they try to keep you depressed about it. So we have clarify the three of swords. Broken hearted. The strength card comes out. See, they ain't want you to have no strength. They ain't want you to be, like, have your gifts operating in your favor. They want it to block, 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 block. So we clarify this, the strength card. Yeah, they did some work to try to stop you and block you. Collective. Yeah, they did. Third party interference across the board. Spirit, clarify the um, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they try to end it with the Four Swords. Spirit, clarify the Four Swords. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups, someone is coming in. They bring in an offer. A Knight of Cups is a um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces once again. Coming in to stop something, slow something down. Maybe to stop the struggle with the Two of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify the Knight of Cups. Right. See, with the Four, four Wands, that's a Twin Flame connection. I'm talking about relationships, family ships, and, and, and stuff like that. So, Twin Flame connection with the Four, four Wands. And somebody is trying to slow it down. And they watching with the um, page of swords to see if it's happening. That they, that they slow you down. <laughs> Spirit, clarify the um, page of swords. Thank you. And they did it to an earth angel with the temperance card. They try to isolate you. Collective. Spirit, clarify the temperance. They try to keep you in the dark and confused. Seven of Cups. All right. With the um the Hermit card, you ghosted them. Collective, you ghosted them. That's why the Eight of Cups is here because you walked away. The Hermit card is a Virgo energy at this time. Spirit, clarify the um, Seven of Cups. See, the Hierophant talks about marriage. They wanted you to be confused in your marriage collective. Clarify the Hierophant. Right, see? The Hermit came on out for confirmation. Whoever you ghosted wanted you to be confused in your marriage. Clarify the Hermit. Swords. 
Gemini, Libra, and Aquariuses. Hangman, you ghost them. So they wanted to keep you in the dark. They wanted to isolate you. They didn't want to tell you nothing, collective. They ain't want to tell you nothing about your harvest, collective. The eight of, I mean, the seven of pentacles at all. Clarify the hangman, see? Come on out, confirmation. Wow. Spirit, clarify the seven of pentacles. They got information and don't want to share it with you, collective. Okay. With the seven of, um, I mean, with the six of swords. They do not, they do not want you to move towards this harvest at all. So they're trying to block you and stop you with the Knight of Cups. I'm picking up with the Magician card. They, they doing spell work or manifesting something. So let's see. Spirit clarify the Six of Swords. Yeah, Knight of Wands coming in to slow you down, stop you. See, with the Six of Swords, they didn't want you to move to Karma Waters. And it's the Knight of Swords, I mean the Knight of Wands coming in to slow you down and stop you. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Thank you. Confirmation. Magician card is out. Spirit clarified this magician card. Right. They sending evil spirits towards you. The devil card. Clarify the devil. With the page of wands. There's some good news. After all that, clarify the page of wands. What's the good news, spirit? Knight of swords, something coming in, and it's coming in. Ooh, it's fast. It's fast approaching. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles, your new beginning. Let's see. Clarify. Spirit, clarify the Knight of one Swords. There's a lot of knights out here. Something is coming in fast. Your twin flame connection. Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups there. Hmm. And it's a Queen of Cups. It's a Queen of Cups in your energy at this time. That's worried with the nine with the nine of swords. She's worried about something. I can just about pick it up because I think I did a read on this energy. Where the Queen of Cups is worried about something, something that she did behind the scenes to this um twin flame connection. Because she's in the um nine of swords energy at this time. Up I guess all up at night worried and stuff about what she did. Let's see. Clarify this Queen of Cups and this Nine Swords. Yeah, she getting a Tower moment. With the Tower card, she's getting a Tower moment for what she did. Look at her little ass flying out the window. Little ass flying out the window. <laughs> Spirit, clarify this Tower card. What's she do? Standing guarded on something. I already know what it is because at the bottom of the deck is in my hand. Nine of Wands. She's standing guard. Look. Once again, over your abundance. New new beginning. <laughs> this is so funny to me. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Acting all immature. Page of Cups. All in reverse. Spirit, clarify the um, page of cups in reverse. Indulging. Indulging in spell work and all kinds of stuff behind the scenes. And, and 
collective, you're getting justice for it. Clarify the um, justice and the nine of cups. Indulging in something. And there's also a wish fulfillment too, but in this, right now, this person is indulging in something. Alright? With the, with the six of cups, it talks about family and it also talks about happiness. Standing guarded over your happiness. Trying to stop it. Slow it down. And your monies. Because both of the, the um wealth cards is at the bottom of the deck. As I'm speaking. See? King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Stop playing. Them two together. I'm trying to tell you. Them two together is a powerhouse. Ace of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Anytime you have that in a spread. You ought to be blessed. You ought to be thanking God. Right now. Get off this video and go thank God. Hello? Because you about to be the first billionaire in your family. Hello? And they trying to stop it. They smell it. They smell it more than you do. Spirit, clarify the um, Six of Cups. Yeah, it came on out. King of Pentacles came on out, y'all. <laughs> Told y'all they want it. They desperate. <laughs> Spirit clarify this King of Pentacles. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Tell him like it is. Yeah, King of Cups. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm picking up real heavy once again on the freaking Cancer. Jealous. Jealous. Spirit clarify this King of Cups. I'm just hating self. Her hating self. Who have a fucking body in this energy? Spirit, look. Hello? Will of Fortune? I told you what they was after, guys. Been hating on all the time. Any more messages, Spirit? Because we got it all laid out right here. Any more messages for the collective? Clarify this Will of Fortune. We want to see confirmation after confirmation. Here we go, dog. They try to keep you struggling. In your relationship. All because of this. Whew. We'll clarify this ace of cups. Yeah, you ended this cycle. Hello, hello. And you ended it well. They try to lie on you. They betrayed you. That's okay. You're still here. Clarify this seven of um swords. Five of swords, I mean. Yeah. They try to keep you from moving forward with the eight of wands. And with the eight of swords, they try to sabotage you and keep you stuck. And I'm done with this read. All because of greed, once again. Ace of Pentacles, stop playing. So we're going to take a few cards on this deck right here. Let's give it a shake. Alright. Let's see. The bottom of the deck is a good fortune is coming with the ten. Isn't that magnificent how we're talking about that right now? Look. The ten of hearts, ten. And then beginning of the read. Ten of cuts. We know what we're talking about, right? You see what I'm saying? And then have some ten, some more out here again. We have 10, 10, 10 out here again. We already know abundance. Come on, y'all. Play catch up. All right? So let's see what's going on, Spirit. Give me a few cards. For the collective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have, let me see. A jack of heart. It talks about a good friend. Is in your energy collective at this time. It talks about a king of heart, which is some good advice in your in your in your um. Okay, and then ace of heart. <laughs> All hearts. 
And Ace of Hearts talks about a new relationship is on the horizon. And at the bottom of the death, I told you. Another heart. The good fortune is coming. Any more messages, Spirit? Let's take a few more. One more. Thank you. Okay. That Ace of Spades talks about ending misfortune in your life collective at this time. Another Ace. Then we got, let me see, Eight of Clubs talks about di what difficulty. You're having difficulties in business, look like, at this time, collective. Check into that situation. Seven of Spades talks about there's a loss somewhere, grief, loss, something. Wow. So, we're going to get up out of this deck. Let's get something from this deck. And evidently it's the truth because spirit is at the bottom. It's the truth. Just give it a shake. So hot today, collective, huh? Hmm. All right, bottom of the deck. Somebody is purchasing a new car. Somebody is purchasing a new car, collective. Give me some energy, spirit. Just a few cards. At the end of this video. Thank you. At this time, collective, there's high vibration going on in the collective. As above, so below. Abundance is your birthright and your destiny. Any more messages here? Your intuition is on a thousand at this time, collective. You're going to have success in every aspect of your life. You just got to be patient. Something needs to be communicated in your life at this time, collective. You're having a breakthrough at this time. And you have positive energy. And we're going to leave it like that. So. With that being said. My brothers and sisters and collective. This is the end of your read. I hope you enjoyed your read. Um, let me see. I'll be uploading tomorrow guys. So keep your notification on. You will get notified. Um, with that being said. I'm going to end the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love each and every one of you. And I thank you for stopping by. To see what sales lady boss up got pop locking on her channel. With that being said guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Peace. Peace my brothers and sisters and collective. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys.